G'day everyone, welcome to X Resart. I'm Chrissy. thanks for joining me and today I'm going to be painting uh, with pastels on pastel mat. Uh, this is a collection or uh, it's part of my collection of the element series and I'll be um, I'll be uh, using uh, pan pastels. Here we go. I'll be using pan pastels, um, some pastel pencils, various pastel pencils, and uh, some soft, uh, soft and hard pastels. So, uh, what I've done here is I've just started on the background, and I've got. I'm going to do. I'm going to do a deer. Mind you, I've never done one before, but I've been practicing my fur, so hopefully, um, uh, hopefully that'll all be um, going okay. So what I'll do is I might just go ahead and start outlining my um, my deer and his horns and all of that stuff. So here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe just start with his horns and uh, before I do on any of that, uh, just one moment So what I might just do is just put on a bit of music Okay, so I'll just get my reference photo up here. Um, and the colours that I'll be using mainly for uh, this fellow's horns are some warm browns, um, some burnt umbers, um, not black. Um, nearly black but not quite black um, so and I've got um, a test paper here and some soft some soft tools so I'll just go ahead with that um, you to the side so the reason why I'm using uh, pastel pencils here is because I need, well, I need some kind of detail or outline, um, and I'll just um, that colour's not the one that I wanted to use. Looks like. And mind you, I'll have. I'm going to put lots and lots of layers on here. So it's the one good thing about pastel mat. It um, it gives me. Um, it forgives me. <laughs> or it's forgiving. I don't know if that's the right word, but I'm quite. But at the moment, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I hope everybody's weekend went well. Um, I'm just getting over my son's 18th birthday party, um, and. Um, I took some leave today because I wanted to dedicate some time for art and, um, and I thought well seeing as I'm sitting here doing some art I thought I might as well live stream it. Um, not sure who'd watch but <laughs> at this hour but I thought I'd give it a go see what happens. So at the moment I'm just outlining hopefully you can see what I'm doing and hopefully you can hear what I'm saying. And of course I'm using glassine. Um, helps protect my work, helps from smudging. Um, I think it's one of the necessities when you're working with pastels or pretty much a whole heap of artwork. Uh, Coloured pencil, just um, anything really because it prevents the oil from your hands onto the onto your um onto your artwork 
Okay, so I'm just getting the antlers in and it's all pretty rough at this stage. So, but I just wanted to make sure that I've got my um, outline down before I start doing anything. Okay, so it's pretty much it there. I'll also be using, uh, with um, my pan pastel, some soft tools. And what looks like here is a, a, burnt, um, a burnt umber. Um, this colour here is, sorry, not a burnt umber, I beg your pardon, a raw umber. Um, and the colours that I've used in the background are extra, uh, raw umber extra dark. Sorry. Yep. And that whole there's raw umber as well. And this is uh, raw umber tint. These are probably colours that I think everyone should have um, if they're getting into this type of uh, like earthy tones. Uh, be using them in skin colours, uh, landscapes. Uh, pretty good going. Now what I'll do is hopefully I'll... So this is just my base layer. moment I'm just concentrating on this fellow's antlers. Oh, record. I always forget that. As we Australians say, bugger. pencils that I use are uh, Stabilo, Carbothello, Brunzil, uh, Faber-Castell and uh, Conti's, uh, Conti à Paris. <laughs> um, they're the main ones that I've got and at the moment I need something very dark up here. Darkish. And I'm just applying light, light layers here because I don't want to destroy the tooth and I want to be able to, if I need to change my mind or to add things, I'd like to be able to do that. So that's why I'm doing that and it's very, very light pressure. And at the moment I'm just applying 
all the dark bits that I can see. not good at but I think when it comes to art um, I always get better and better as I go <laughs> paper uh, beside me and I've got a paper towel to um, so I can clean my um, my pastel or my soft tools as I go so I don't contaminate all the other um, colors um, okay Are, and then I'll go in with my mid-tones and then just adjust as I go. Sort of goes up like that. Thank you. 
do is I'll blend a bit and then reapply. But I'm just, I'm just. What I will do is I'll swap from pastel pencils to pan pastels to soft pastels and the colours that I've got for this project for the pastels. So I've got a variation here. So I think I'm pretty set all of the things around me to get all of this going. This is a um, soft grey, which helps me with. Um, it's one of the lights in my in my group of pastel pencils here, and it'll help me define. All my details here, or where the details should go, and I just keep on building building layers that sort of goes there it's almost like a light umber tint this this pencil here it reminds me of that colour or it looks it very much. So just um, getting my antlers in and it's slowly coming together and I like how it's sort of starting to work uh, 
and the sharpener that I'm using is just a, a simple handheld sharpener not very expensive I think I paid two dollars fifty at my art store and the casing is not nothing much but the blades are made in Germany so uh, it's pretty good and I tell you what you'd, you'd be wanting a good sharpener no matter whether you're doing pastel pencils colored pencils watercolor pencils all of those so yeah and this sort of comes up a little bit here and of course this is all this painting is all fantasy and so although I'm going to try to get it to look like what a deer should be but if it doesn't well I'm not going to stress too much the idea is that I want to get it as close as possible to looking like a deer um, so I don't damage the tooth even though I know that I can do quite a bit to this but I just um, still would like to make sure that I make sure I give myself every opportunity that if I make a mistake that I can do something about it to correct it and there's nothing wrong with um, if you think that you've made a mistake or you know, I'm sure that there are always ways to fix things. Okay. And I did my background first so I could perhaps get um, get the right colours from uh, for this deer. certain areas for the time being with my soft tool <clears throat>
Okay. I'll just leave that for the moment and I'll start doing this fellow's face and then I'll come back again and I'll start to put more details into this guy but I really like his antlers they're really nice I like the way that that's all coming about just sharpen my pencil this one here just use my kneadable eraser to just fellow's ears. Now. I'm just um, just paying attention to my reference photo working out where all these darks are going to be and what I'll do is I'll mark out all the bits where the lights are going to be as well so and then go in with my mid-tones. his head the fur but what I'm trying to do is go in the direction of where the fur is going and of course he's got short fur up here and this bit is a dark bit here over the background but I'll just um hmm. I think I need to sharpen this again part of his face. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Mm. 
Again, this is a, a like a light beige. It's a 103 Faber Castell, and just trying to get all the the light bits here in and go in the direction of the fur. Hang on, how is it going? It's going this way. This way. Make sure. light part is not going to be as light. Um, there will be a lot of other colours on top of that. I just want to make sure that I've got these areas right. Try to, to resist to blend until I get all of these colours down right where they should be. Some pan pan. 
crystals here. going to be endless layers going on this I can tell and in order for me to put highlights I have to make sure that my my base is dark enough for me to do that so that's what I'm doing at the moment and just, just making sure that I know exactly where my lights are. just trying to pay careful attention to my reference photo making sure that I'm getting and going in the direction of the fur this guy's fur is going all over the place um, it's not one particular way So I'm up to the, the king of clubs now, so um, and this is very well earthy is this guy's is the club element, so 
try to think of earthy and fantasy type. colors in the right areas. And there's lots of browns, lots of um, dark, dark browns. And it sort of goes like that. And then it sort of comes up this way. there is a just a highlight there just there because his eye is black black and going to do is use the tip of that instead of using it like that I'll have better control if I do this between my fingers for some reason it's the same thing but Just blend my light areas first.
not good at animals, but I want to do animals. And so the more I do animals, I'm sure the better I'll get at it. So no time like the present, no point putting it off. So yeah. I like doing it, I like using the soft tool like this rather than this for some reason. Oh, it's okay like that too, but I find that I've got quite a bit of control because then I can then squeeze the tip and just go into little nooks and crannies there. So. Sharpen my pencils again, my pastel pencils, and get in with more detail. And again, light pressure. Hello, 
Heidi. How are you going? G'day. Heidi says, uh, what do you use to sharpen your pastel pencils? I really struggle with that. Uh, thank you for your videos and sharing. Oh, love. thank you so much. Appreciate your comment. Um, what I'm using, you wouldn't believe it. It's a normal sharpener, like a pencil sharpener. The casing is cheap, nothing spectacular but the blade is um, made from Germany and it's only two dollars fifty from from my one of my art shops that I um, that I go to and every time I go I just grab like about five or six of them every time I go but what I'm actually going to think of doing is uh, what I wanted to do because of the metal or the blade I want to sharpen the blade so I'll unscrew the blade and I'll yeah and I'll like on a bit of stone so that's what I'll be doing so I'd really like to get quite a bit more out of these sharpeners I mean they don't last very long and I think they just like all sharpeners they go blunt so I'm gonna have a crack at that so yeah pretty much that's it and I know I've always had problems with uh, pastel uh, sharpening pastel pencils they break and things like that so yeah So are you working on anything at the moment, Heidi? Sorry, and again, like with the sharpening of the pencils, I find some pens pencils are better um, because the pastel is much like it's a harder pastel, then it's less likely going to break. So the much softer ones would probably break a lot easier, um, depending on how much. See these ones, although this is the Conti, Although it's quite a thick casing and there's quite a bit of pastel in, um, might break more than, say, a Faber-Castell, which is a harder pastel. That's what I found. And I think Derwent's are the ones that break the most. I don't understand why. Probably because they're softer. And sometimes I do use a blade too, but I've stopped doing that now. I, I chop and change all the time. Heidi says, uh, I'm working on a gorilla uh, using pastel mat, pan pastels and Faber-Castell. Oh wow, oh. Is it the, um, the, uh, what do you call them? The silverbacks, that's it. Oh, that'd be, that'd look fantastic. You can get so much detail with eyes and especially if it's close up too. How are you enjoying um, pastel mat? Which is probably my question I really should be asking. Um, what do you think of that paper? Heidi says, uh, it's my first time using pan pastels, loving them. Aren't they fantastic? You can just cover so much, so quick, and then, you know, provided that you're doing, um, you know, light layers, you can, you can do so many layers on pastel mat. I just, 
Uh, I, I can never stop. Yeah, don't start me. Sorry, don't start me talking on pastel mat because I won't finish. <laughs> Sorry, Heidi. Do you find um, using uh, uh, using like the pan pastels on pastel mat and like forgiving? Um, because I certainly do. Um, if you make a mistake, you can either rub it out or go over it, or you know, when I say rub it out, I mean like pick it up with say your kneadable eraser and just, which is fantastic. So. Um, Heidi also says I'm, I'm really liking it a lot. I can I can get so many layers, like you said, and smooth background. Mm. And what other pastel pencils do you use? Is it just Faber Castell? I'll show you. I need to sharpen this one now. Um, oh, sorry. Just wanted to show you how well this sharpens. Oh, not bad, eh? Hmm. But I always make sure that my blades are sharp. Like, for example, I get a fresh sharpener for each project until I until I sharpen my blades so yeah And Heidi, what kind of, um, is it just animals that you like to paint or uh, what's, what, are, what are your favourite subjects, what do you like painting apart from animals? says is there a brand name on the metal sharpener no it's there's none all it is it's um, um, it's the casing is um, made in China there's no brand name 
but the blade is uh, says made in Germany so like all things German they pay a lot of it attention to detail and very good quality so really it's just it I spent about two dollars fifty on this at my local art shop um, Heidi says um, uh, right now um, uh, right now that is all I have to work with uh, we'll continue to add my my collection over time I also work in color pencils oil and acrylic it gets expensive tell me about it <laughs> tell me about it <laughs> Um, wow, wow, that's fantastic. It's good to be, um, I think it's good to have, to be flexible in many mediums or as many as you can. Um, you couldn't get bored for a start, even with one, but just say. And it, it makes you a little bit more flexible and um, more versatile. If somebody was to ask you to do a project and, and they wanted an oil painting, or acrylic painting you can go ahead and do it you know so oh that's fantastic um, and Heidi also likes landscapes and wildlife wow yeah I've got to get better at landscape I'm not good at landscapes <laughs> yeah I've got to get better at it so what I'll do is I'll have to paint more I have done a few but um, because there's a, uh, some wonderful, well, at the end of this particular series, I, I need to do a couple of landscapes. So uh, let's see how we go with all the elements, fire, earth, um, fire, earth, what is it, air and water. So I've got a, I've got a few things which I've got in my head when I finish doing all of these, all these particular series of paintings. So let's see how we go. <laughs> And you know, landscapes and wildlife. There are so many things that you can paint. You couldn't possibly get a block. Do you know what I mean? Like you could, oh, there's just so much to do. But I get excited about these things, so. <laughs> Sorry about that. What I'm trying to do is just concentrate on this or this area, make sure that I, I get it right or close enough um, that it looks like what it's supposed to look like. Because I've never done a deer before. But I think it's all got to do with fur, isn't it? So if I can get the fur right. And um, have uh, what about uh, other than pastel mat? Um, what other paper do you like using, um, Kathy or Heidi? Um, see today. Today here, this is, um, uh, well today is really a work day, uh, my son was having a, an 18th birthday and I decided to, um, oh it's a leave day, you know, this is a vacation day or leave day, so I can do some art and I thought, and I thought well, 
I'm, I mentioned it before, and I thought, well, I'm sitting here doing some art. I might as well just um, live stream it and see how we go. <laughs> I couldn't go through a weekend and not have done some artwork, even for half an hour. Okay. I might get down here so I don't have to... I don't want to blend it just yet. I'm trying to resist at the moment. My impatience will get the better of me. I might have to put some pastel mat down here first, I think. And I'm not using black, but I'm using um, raw umber extra dark. As you can raw, as you can see, it's a much loved pen pen. But I've had this is my first one, and I've had this for two years or so. How good is that? Like this is you get so much value for money with these. I think. Um, Heidi says I uh, uh, use UART is is what I use for my colour pencil. Oh yes, do you use powder blender or just without colour blender? Hmm. So what I'll do here is I'll Apply all my dark bits here, and then go, on, then go on top with my highlights. I think that's what I'll do here. Heidi says, "I'm confident that you you will do just fine with landscapes." Uh, I have to be going now. It is 140. Oh, 140 getting tired. Oh, look, thank you so much. Thank you so much for popping by. I really appreciate it. Um, okay, bye for now. What I'm using now is one down from Raw Umber Extra Dark and it's just Raw Umber Shade. Um,
and this one is raw umber. And just applying light pressure again with these pan pastels and the tools that I'm using. You know what I'd like? I'd like, if it's possible, I would love pan, pan pastels, the people that created this, to make even finer tools. Because, I mean, I know that you could use, like, the ends of the ends of these but I think it would be good to have a tool like that anyway that's one of my um it's an idea I thought of but mm. so I'm not quite sure whether you saw that <laughs>
always adjusting. I'll go in with some lights soon. This is um, yellow ochre extra dark. There are bits where I see, I'm just going to test it out, yeah, where it almost looks like a yellowy brown and I think that's You can see what I mean when you start to put on more layers it, and the fact that this paper is really terrific for things like this is um, just amazing. I really like the way it's coming together or turning out. <laughs> use now is some pastel pencils again. Maybe sharpen a few.
So I'm liking the way this is um, coming along, actually, which I'm very happy about. And what I think I need is a warm...
so many so many layers have gone onto this so far. No doubt there'll be more to come, so. I might do is um, I might just um, might might just leave this leave this here and I've done quite a bit of work on this deer and I'm and I've got a lot to go as well <laughs> um, but yeah just wanted to say thank you for watching and um, Hope to see you the next time. Um, um, but until now, oh, sorry. Um, but until then, uh, bye for now. <laughs>